Hey guys, Crispy here, and today's video is very, very exciting for me because this is my very first wig review video. I get tons of questions on where do you get your wigs, where is that from, what kind of wig is it, and uh, most of the wigs that I get are custom made for me by companies that I find online. And I get a lot of complaints about the price. They're really, really expensive wigs because they're custom made. So I wanted to do kind of like a little experiment and buy a wig online that's more affordable to see what you would get. So this is like my unboxing first impressions of this wig that I bought from RPG Show. So the wig was three, Oh dang, wait, it was $400. Actually, I'm just looking back at my order and I bought this under a Black Friday sale, so the wig was actually $399, but with the discount, it came to $320.99. So it comes in this box like this. I ordered the ear tape too, which was only a dollar, and it comes with some instructions. And then so the wig comes like this. I'm already like this does not look like the color that was pictured on the website. It comes with a nude wig cap. Then it comes with this little catalog thing too. This is the In Vogue Me 002 Blonde Hair Blunt Cut Human Hair Full Lace Wig. This is 14 inches. The hair texture is silky. So I ordered the blonde to be just like how it's pictured on the website, but it's just, this is orange. This is orange. It matches the background. This looks like the ET wig. Elliot. So this is what the inside of the wig looks like. And it has two combs on the sides and then one on the bottom. You're definitely gonna need to put on the elastic band. Otherwise all it will take is like a swift gust of wind and this thing will fly off. I know it's happened to me before. Actually, no, it's never happened, but a lot of people ask me that. They're like, has your wig ever flown off your head? I'm like, not yet. So full lace means that like the hairs are pulled through this cap instead of tracks being sewn on throughout the wig. Oh, it's so tight. <laughs> I have a really big head. Houses my giant brain. Erker. <laughs> this is orange! Dude, for $400, I'm pissed. This does not look like the picture. See how it's really blunt right here? I can tweeze this to make it more natural looking and just more sparse. Well, I think I need to bleach the knots too so that it doesn't look like you don't see those little squares right there. So I really wanted to do this video just as an experiment to see what uh, $400 or $300 on a wig would get you. And um, obviously I'm disappointed by what I got. So I think what I wanna do is do like um, a follow up to this video, do a wig makeover and see what it looks like when I bust out all my little tricks. We can tweeze the hairline, we'll bleach the knots and we'll dye it and we'll see how we can make over this wig and see if it was worth it. And I actually like dyeing my wigs. I do it in my kitchen, which is probably not the best idea. But um, yeah, let me know. Since it's yellow, I don't know. We might be limited on what colors we can make it. It'll be interesting to see the before and after. So I would like to also give a disclaimer that I am not a wig expert. I am a wig enthusiast and it's a very, very vast subject and there's so much to learn. There's so many little tricks. So I'm still learning about them along with you guys. So I invite anyone who has tips or tricks to leave them down in the comment section and we can make it a discussion. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time, bye. Thank you.